Good afternoon, everyone. This is the Frog Hollow Stone Mill, or just the Stone Mill. It's an historic industrial building located in Middle Prairie, Vermont. Built in 1840, it's an important local reminder of the town's industrial past and was listed on the National Register of Historic Places in 1973. This is Patricia, and I am traveling for history. This place presently houses a restaurant, a public market, a co-working space, and four lodging units. I believe it also houses in the uh, Middlebury College Innovations Program. Middlebury College used to own the building, and then in 2019 sold it to the um, people who own it now. The former Frog Hollow Stone Mill stands on the south bank of Otter Creek at a point where the normally north-flowing river bends to the west. The mill is located a short way west of downtown Middlebury. The building is four stories in height and is built out of locally quarried stone laid in irregular courses. It is covered by a gabled roof. The main facade facing south toward Mill Street, and this is Mill Street um, in front of us here, is symmetrical uh, with recessed loading bay entrances at the center of each level flanked on each side by sash windows so so I can bring it in for us if you look there is glass in front now but if you look you can see the wooden doors on there and the sash windows on either side we can see them uh, sash windows mean they can be opened all the way up. There we go. A loading boom projects above the top level in the gable and that's right there. I think it's kind of hard to tell from this area but if you look at the very top of it, you'll see these um, look like sticks st sticking up. Those sticks are to discourage pigeons from landing there and sitting up there. But you want to think of it in terms of a hook uh, that would that would uh, um, hook things from down on the ground and then uh, pull them up. The interior of the building, including some of its internal structural elements, reflect alterations due primarily to a history of fires with which it was plagued. Not just this building, all sorts of manufacturing buildings were plagued by fires. Industrial use of the mill site began early in Middlebury's history with a grist mill built there in 1789. In 1812, the mill was converted to cotton textile production, and in 1835, the Middlebury Manufacturing Company was founded. The present building was erected in 1840, it's 1840, and underwent a number of ownership changes, fires, and other alterations into the 20th century. It was acquired by the town in the early 1970s. Um, it was a student art space for Middlebury College, and um, as I said, it's now owned by uh, private investors. All right, we're going to do a walk around of the building and uh, let's take a look at Otter Creek as well. So hang on as I go across the street because there's lots of people here. Look at the thickness of that wall. All righty, I've talked about this with other buildings, but let's talk about it again here. Those metal pieces there you see, and they're up in the next story up as well. Those are those are uh, through the building. It's right across the building, and they are used to uh, pull the walls in so they don't collapse out. Uh, it's an interesting thing I've seen on all sorts of older buildings. And you see, there are three across uh, on both stories. Pretty interesting. And uh, let me, uh, you see the irregular courses. Um, that's what you get when you're working with stone. 
All right, let's keep going. And this is the back of the building, but it does have that wooden addition on the back. Right. So uh, there's that. Zoom in for you folks. And you can see the uh, water right here. Look how, look at this, how this water is rushing. I'm on a bridge right now. Isn't that beautiful? Mm. Alrighty, well this is the uh, stone mill, or the Frog Hollow Stone Mill in uh, Middlebury, Vermont. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm on uh, all the... Let me go ahead and uh, turn around. I got a friend with me today. It's always good because uh, it's good to have two brains working. Look at that beautiful falls. It's Middlebury Falls right there. So I'm on all the social media you are. I hope you want to uh, follow me and subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. I'm traveling for history everywhere except Twitter. So I'm on Facebook. Instagram, TikTok, you can see my pictures on Instagram and Facebook if you wish. At Traveling for History, one L in Traveling. And on uh, Twitter, I am Traveling for High One, Traveling for H I, numeral one. I upload every day of the week because I can, I like to, and well, I'm a glutton for punishment as well. And uh, until I see you again, this is Patricia, and I am Traveling for History. Have a great day.